Hey ladies and gentlemen, well it's hurricane season, we have a hurricane, we're under a hurricane warning right now here in Brevard County in Cocoa where I live here in Florida. This is survival preparedness for beginners and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to install one of these. Now we have heard through a local radio station that Depending on how much heavy rain and stuff we do get, there is a possibility that they could be turning off our water. I do have water canisters that are full. I have gallon jugs. I have packs of water. I have ways to, to purify water. But using the water bob here, this gives me 100 gallons in my bathtub. So let's get going on this video so you guys can see how this thing works and how it can be a lifesaver to anybody out there as long as you have a bathtub, right? Here we go. Right. Let's pop this bad boy open and I'll show you what comes in this here box, as you can see. That's it. Don't need the box anymore. So, you get one pump, and this here hooks on, and so you can pump the water out of your water bob. And this here, a drainage and fillage system. And then this, is your water bob. All right, folks. Hold on. Okay. Once you've placed a water bub in your tub and make sure it's pretty much even at both ends, this tab right down here, that I'm going to show you here in a second, connects right up here. Now, you can stand here and hold this thing while it fills up, or get yourself a rubber band. around there grab a rubber band Pull that back pull this back all right let's see what happens It did say you have to go slow at first so it doesn't spew out everywhere because of the pressure. Once you get it going, you should be all right. And you can see, hopefully, let me see if I can zoom in. And you can see that the water is running into the water bob. And we'll be back. Now, unfortunately, when you are filling up your water bob, you cannot walk away from it. If you use the rubber band and you put it around the spout, Right? You have to stay here and you have to monitor what is going on because as it fills up, that spout starts to kink. You're going to get pressure that's going to build back in and then you're going to have a mess. So you have to sit here and monitor it. And we'll see how long it takes because I'm timing this also. Just so you all know what I'm talking about. See how this, this is filling up? You have to kind of keep moving it around. So the water's going down in there. But if not, this will fill back up to here and then it's gonna it's it'll fill back up to here and then it's gonna blow out everywhere and you're gonna have a big mess. Alright, so once you get it as full as you want it, I could go more, but I'm gonna stop right here. This is the part that we're refilling it with. It's attached to right here. All you have to do, there already comes a cap already on it. Alright. So you have to pick this up and pinch it. Unscrew this. 
take your cap and screw your cap on there hang this up to dry see it just kind of screws on it's really a cool idea <clears throat> and as you can see right here we have another cap now you can use either one and when you're ready you open up your spout here and that screws into either one of those holes that you want which I'm not going to do yet until I need it and that is how you install the water bob and it fills up now the bag is made for even for real large tubs so you're going to have excess left over at the end as you can see right here and you have some down at this end also so if you have a really big bathtub you're going to get over 100 gallons in here right now i bet you there's probably if i had to guess about 80 gallons of water pretty good so today's video was basically how to use your water bob you can get these on amazon they're relatively cheap they say they'll hold up to 100 gallons of water this is great for people that are facing natural disasters hurricanes blizzards um, whatever it could be if you can fill up your tub if you have time if you have notice and you can fill up your tub with a hundred gallons of fresh drinking water then that is a huge bonus right there off the bat to get you some water in case you don't have like other containers like I've shown you um, or jugs of water or bottled water or anything else but always make sure that you do have something to filter water in case that you don't have anything and you have to go out and fetch your own water this way here you're being able to filtrate your water and you're drinking it and cooking with it bathing with it whatever and you're not getting sick or anything else this would also be a good thing to have if you live out in the country or something like that and you're on a well and say you lose a lot of power sometimes if you know you got bad storms coming you know a hurricane or a blizzard or something's coming where it could knock out your power take and fill up your bathtub and this way here you'll have water even if the power goes out and your pump isn't running you still have up to 100 gallons of fresh drinking water that you can use for whatever needs you may have so this thing is a lifesaver for a lot of people it's very simple to use like i did i just use a rubber band put the little nozzle around the spigot you gotta sit there and you gotta make sure the water keeps going in there and it doesn't fill up into the fill valve and back wash into well everywhere in your bathroom i should say and this way here i mean very simple you just sit there and every once in a while you will have to take off the second cap and you just let the air out and then you put the cap back on and it just keeps going and i did it while it was filling up it's very simple you just pinch the plastic take the cap off push the air out put the cap on you're done had to do that twice it took a total of eight minutes and 37 seconds to fill the bathtub not bad so in a pinch this is something that everybody could do so i'm survival preparedness for beginners i wanted to bring you this survival tip so that everybody out there knows go out and get yourself a water bob and this way here you'll have fresh water for you and your family so until next time i'll catch you all on the flip side